Hey guys, it's Brett. I'm here with a massive Homeworks Spring slash Summer 2021 haul. Homeworks was kind enough to send me tons of stuff for PR. For being moderator in the Facebook group, they send out stuff for PR. Occasionally we'll get stuff. We get stuff here and there. Um, sometimes they have trouble getting stuff to us and sometimes they are able to, but this spring and summer they definitely were able to because they sent quite a bit of stuff here. So it's always good to get stuff to share with you all and give you little previews, sneak peeks and stuff like that. Um, so you can see what it's like and get our thoughts and opinions on them. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, you should join the Facebook group. It's really cool. People talk about all Homeworks candles and Scentworks as well. And they show their pictures and talk about all the stuff about them. You get little previews of different things that are coming out. So I'll put a link down below and join that group. It's, it's a really fun group. So I have lots of stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm just going to kind of quick, quick little view of what I think of them. I'm not going to go in too much detail about them because it'll take way too long if I do that. So I'm just going to give you my quick little first impressions of them. And then uh, stay tuned to my channel for I'll probably do some reviews on some of these and then also follow me on Instagram because I'll either do a review on YouTube or post a picture on Instagram and talk about them. So I have my Instagram handle below as well. It's mine, not Brad's. So it's the Two Dads Review Instagram is what I'll be posting some reviews on and as well as here on my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go get started here with these little uh, diffuser sets. Well, they're not little, they're kind of big. They have the Tropical Collection diffuser set right here in this box. Really pretty box here. I love this packaging. It's really like very collectible like. It comes in this box, has all the greenery on there. It says Homeworks by Harry Cycle on the front and on the back. It says Homeworks Tropical Collection set of six refillables and one diffuser. So in here we have six different sets, well, six different um, refillables. We have an Island Palm, Hibiscus Flower, Passion Flower Papaya, Mango Steam Nectar, Pineapple Colada, Tiari Sunrise. And then inside, I'll open it up here for you. Show you the inside. That's what it looks inside. You have the diffuser in the middle and then you have the six refills here there and the diffuser is like this i've never had a homeworks diffuser so i'm excited to try them because i've wanted to try it for a long time but i never have so it plugs into the wall like that and then you take that off i believe and put the little refill in there plug it into your wall and then you'll have scent so that is the was it the tropical collection yes tropical collection there and then they also sent me the floral collection right here real pretty floral design on this one and then on the back it has the descriptions here the florida collection uh, we have six refillables in here we have garden blooms heirloom bouquet island petals south seas gardenia blushing camellia and magnolia blossom and then it's the same inside as well in here it's got another white diffuser here with the six refillables in here. So I'm really excited to try those out. So I will let you know how they do once I try those out. And then they also sent some other refillables. We have two sets of four here. I have this one here is coconut cake. And I've had this in the candle before. I've had it in the three wick I believe and then I also had in the one wicks that just came out and I did a review on those love coconut cakes a really good scent so that's really gonna be really good in the diffuser hopefully and then so there was uh they sent me four of those and then they sent me four peach upside down cake which is brand new this year I haven't got the candle yet but I really want to get the candle these are really hard to get off which I got one of them off already let me see oh which one was it Hold on a second. I had one of these loose. There it is. They're really hard to, they're really tight on there. They're hard to unscrew. So this smells really good. I totally get the peach, but I really get that bakery crust kind of a note. 
which is what I wanted. I was hoping it wouldn't be just like a peach scent. I've heard some people say they get, that have had the candle, that they get mostly peach and not much crust. And then I've heard some people say they only get crust and not much peach. So I'm not sure, but I get, I get both. If anything, I get a little more of that bakery crust than I get the peach. Definitely not just straight up peach. So I'm happy about that. So I'm excited to try that out. And then um, I definitely would like to get the candle in that too, because I love the way it smells here in the little diffuser. So I got four of those. So I will see how those turn out. And then they sent me the set of four and the one wick candles, which I already have done a review on these. So I'm not really gonna go over these. Um, check out my review on these. I'll link, post a link below for a, of my review of these four that I already purchased. Really good. I liked, they threw really well for a one wick, but they just, they had a lot of soot. So check out my review. That's the only thing I didn't like is they kind of got kind of sooty. So check out my review on those. Um, I'll just show you real quick what they were. There was Enchanted Peony and the one wick, and then Wild Hydrangea, Coconut Cake, and Island Palm. Then they sent me these three wicks here that are for sale at Ulta and on Ulta.com. These are the three wicks here that have the wood lids. I love these wood lids. I think they're so pretty. Some people don't like them, but I really like them. I think they're really, really nice. And these are three wicks that have white wax. Three wicks. And these are all, what's the ounces on this one? They're 14 ounce and burn time is 30 to 40 hours. And then they have the name on the bottom and then the scent notes. They also have the scent notes on the front as well. So this one here is Tropical Rum Punch and it says lush and, and intoxicating guava, spiced rum, lime, and nutmeg. And this one's really good. I get, definitely get that guava. And then you do get that nutmeg, that like kind of a spice in there. Um, and then I do get a little bit of the rum. It's got a little bit of rum. It says uh, lime. Mm, not really lime, but I definitely get that guava and I definitely get the rum and definitely get the nutmeg. It almost comes off a little bit like a fall scent, but yet summer, but then kind of fall. You could almost burn this in the fall, I feel, because of that nutmeggy kind of spiciness to it. Yeah, that's good. I'm really excited to try that one out. And then we have jasmine and white peach and i've never had this be before it's been out before in the four wicks i think the three wick maybe i'm not sure about that i think it's been in the four wicks for sure though and this is white jasmine white peach bamboo and apricot and this is really nice it's just i definitely get that uh jasmine i get the jasmine forefront and there's a little bit of that peach underneath there um I kind of get apricot a little bit, more peach than apricot, but I might can get a little hint of apricot maybe in there. Yeah, and definitely that lily, I mean the white jasmine, and then uh, the bamboo. I don't really get much bamboo, but it's good, so I'm excited for that one as well. And then we have coconut margarita, and this one reads coconut, lime zest, sugar cane, and vanilla. Mmm, I love this one. This is just such a good lime and coconut. Yeah, you really get that lime and the coconut, and then you get that uh, little bit of vanilla mixed with the lime and the coconut. Sugary. Ah, so summery and nice. I love that one. And then lastly, in that set of four, we have Lemongrass Breeze. Lemongrass, clementine, bergamot, and tonka bean. So this is very fresh. It's a fresh kind of smell. Um, lemongrass, I think, is kind of a... Some people like it, some people don't kind of a thing. I like it. It's, it's nice. Um, I get the, of course, lemongrass. Uh, clementine, kind of get a little bit of a citrus in there. Um, bergamot and tonka bean. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe a little bit of bergamot. I don't know about tonka bean, really. But, yeah, you really get the lemongrass for sure. Um, it's nice. 
fresh. It reminds me of clean, like something you'd want if you were like cleaning and you wanted a fresh clean scent in the air. This would be a good one to burn. So we'll see how that does. So next up, um, I'll show you, blah, 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 if I can talk. I'll show you real quick here. They sent some Scentworks as well, some Scentworks body care. They sent um, four of these flower blooms right here. The scent flower blooms. And they sent the body cream and the body lotion, the shower gel, and the body mist. So it reads here, flower blooms is bright spring petals and lotus blossom blended with the essence of fresh fallen air. So this is a, it's just a really good floral scent. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I think my mom would really like this because this smells just like something my mom would wear. I know I say that a lot when I'm, lots of times when I have these floral candles sometimes not all florals, but certain ones. This, this it reminds me of my mom. Yeah, this is really nice. If you like floral, perfumey, it's not too perfumey. It's a really nice, pretty floral. I mean, it is perfume, but it's gonna be kind of perfumey. Yeah, and then the yeah, they all smell the same. It's just it's a nice scent. If you like floral scents, and then let's see. Now to the candles here, the four wick candles. First up, they sent me hot cider donut, which I've had and I love. I just did a, talked about this in my empties video. I had never tried it before and I finally did and I love it. It's such a good donut, cinnamon, bakery, goodness. Love it, love, love it. It's kind of a, this could be any time really, but I guess they had it out last year and then it's pretty much just all, all year long. It's kind of a fall scent, but then you can pretty much burn it any, any time. Um, really, it's just so good. Next up we have Garden Blooms. I didn't read the scent notes on Hot Cider Donut. Harvest Apple, Cinnamon Sugar, Vanilla Bean, and Spiced Cider. It's really good. Garden Blooms here. Freesia, Rosewater, Jasmine, and Georgia Peach. This is straight up flowers. This is just like you walked into a flower shop or you open the, the the coolers in the flower shop where all the flowers are inside there. Yeah. Or like you get flowers at home and you have them out of the package right there and you just smell the flowers. Yeah, fresh cut flowers is what it smells like to me. Yeah, definitely the freesia, rosewater, jasmine, Georgia peach. I don't really get peach. No, I, I get mostly just Flowers, fresh cut flowers. They get the stems, the greenery, and everything, and the flower petals, all that. It's really nice. Perfect if you like just fresh, straight, fresh cut flowers. Next up, we have Coastal Water Lily. And this reads, Water Lily, Pink Jasmine, White Peony, and Peach Blossom. So this is nice. I First, when I smell this, There's something in there that was a little bit off to me. And still it's different. To me it's different and I don't know. Water lily, pink jasmine, white peony. I definitely get the, all the florals. I mean you definitely get the, the water lily, the, the jasmine, the peony. It's floral but then it's something else in there. I'm thinking maybe it's the peach, the peach blossom maybe. Mixed with those florals, it's a little bit different to me. And I wasn't for sure about it at first. But I've had peach with floral scents before, and I, I like them, but I don't... But it's nice. The more I smell it, the more I like it, though. I know a lot of people love this one, so it might be just me that's smelling something different about it. But yet, it's kind of a good different. Yeah, the more I smell it, the more I think I like I think I might like it when it burns. So I'm really excited to see if... Uh, that comes across better to me when I burn it than what it kind of does on cold sniff. That little bit of an off note in there. But yeah, it's, the more I smell it, the more I keep liking it. So that should be good, I hope. Next up we have Citrus Mojito. And this reads Pomelo, Kumquat, Tangerine, and Mint. So yeah, this is a really good citrusy 
um, very citrusy. Um, it's lemon. I get like a lemon. It doesn't say lemon, but it says the pomelo. I mean, pomelo and then pelmelo and tangerine. It has a lemon quality with that tangerine to me. Uh, is pomelo? What is Alexa, what is pomelo? According to Wikipedia, the pomelo, pomelo, or in scientific terms citrus maxima or citrus grandis, is the largest citrus fruit from the family Rutaceae and the principal ancestor of the grapefruit. It is a natural, i.e., non-hybrid, citrus fruit, native to Southeast Asia. Similar in taste to a sweet grapefruit, the pomelo is commonly consumed and used for festive occasions throughout Southeast Asia. Okay, yeah, so it's like pomelo grapefruit. I think I knew that. So, yeah, you kind of get a grapefruit. Um, tangerine, kumquat. Alexa, what is kumquat? Kumquat is usually defined as a small, round or oblong citrus fruit having a sweet rind and acid pulp used chiefly for preserves. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for kumquat. Okay, so, yeah, I've heard of that, but I'm not real familiar with kumquat, but, I mean, I definitely get the citrus fruit. But I get, like, a lemon note in there, too, a little bit. And then mint. Just a touch of mint. Just a little bit of a touch of mint. It's a really nice citrusy, uh, fresh, summery drink. I could see it being like a drink. Yeah, just a little bit of mint in there, but it's really nice. Next up, we have... Lily of the Valley. And this reads, Lily of the Valley, Hyacinth, Jasmine, and Spring Green Leaves. This one's so good. This one's just, if you love those straight up like white floral scents, you like this. Because this is pure in your face white floral. Exactly what all it says. Lily Valley, Hyacinth, Jasmine, Spring Green Leaves. Yeah, you can get a little bit of the green leaves, but mostly that white floral. So good. Really happy, excited to try that because I love Harry's white florals. Love them. And then, next up we have Blood Orange and Apricot. And this reads, Blood Orange, Apricot, Mandarin Zest, and Pink Lady Apple. So this is pretty good. Um, I definitely get the orange. A little apricot as well. Um, Mandarin Zest. I don't get a real zesty fruit. Like, by the description of a blood orange and apricot, you think it would be like really citrusy and zesty. I don't get a citrus, real super citrusy zesty feel. I get almost more of like a sweet, slightly sugar, candy sugar kind of a orange and apricot. Like a candy almost. It's kind of like an orange apricot candy. Um, pink lady apple. Um, maybe hint, but not too much. Yeah, it's more candy-like than citrus zestiness to me. It's like sugar candy almost, but it's nice. So we'll see how that does. And then also from that that same kind of set here, the little fruit, I forget what it's called, but same design and everything, packaging. Strawberry rhubarb. I have a review of this. I just posted a review of this, so I'm not going to talk about this too much. Check out my review, and I'll get into more detail about it, but... I love this so much. I love this. This is a very controversial candle on the Facebook group. Lots of many different opinions on this candle. I've never seen a candle with so many different opinions than this one here. But I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then, let's see. Next up, we have this Hobnail Collection. We have Lemoncello Time. And it has Woodlids as well. Just like these three wicks had but they have it's a four wick with a wood wit and a wood wood wid a wood lid i love it i think it looks so pretty i think it was really good um i loved the glass jars on the hobnails as well but i really like the looks of these wood lids i think it's very it looks so pretty i like it and it is a little less clinky because the uh, glass jars would be kind of clinky on there and then they would like slide off real easy if you if you touch it but it, come off real easy but these suction on there pretty well and they don't fall off and they're not clanky so yeah limoncello time reads limoncello french french garden thyme sage and grapefruit 
so yeah, this is just a really good lemon. Definitely get the lemon cello. It's like a sugared lemon. Um, I do get a little bit of that thyme, that fresh garden thyme. A little bit of sage. Mm, yeah, what was else? Grapefruit. Yeah, you can kind of get a grapefruit a little bit. But definitely a, like a sugary lemon. It's a little bit of a zesty sugary lemon. And I do get a little bit of that thyme and that sage. So hopefully when it burns, maybe that comes out even more. We'll see. And then next up, also from that hobnail collection there, is Peach Basil Teeny. Also has the wood, wit, wood, why do I keep saying wood, wood? Wood, wood, the wood lid. And a four wicks there. This reads, fresh peach green basil, squeeze lemon juice and iced vodka. So yeah, this does seem like a drink. It's like a drink. It's like, you definitely get the peach. I could, and I get the lemon. And then you do kind of get a little bit of a vodka in there. It's not super boozy, but I could kind of see this being a little, it's like a drink. Um, green basil. I'm not really picking up that basil very much. No, not, I don't really get much basil. Hopefully burning this, the basil will come out more because that'll be really nice to have like basil in there with that peach and lemon and the vodka, like a, like a real tropical, nice drink. I do know sometimes his herbs that he puts in candles don't come out. They aren't really strong. I just did a review on the kitchen herbs and the herbs in there were a little more subtle. They weren't real strong. So hopefully he amps up the herbs a little bit because if the herbs come out in there, it'd be really nice because this would be really nice. And like this limoncello thyme, if the thyme and sage come out, there'd be really nice. Otherwise it's going to be like a regular sugared lemon candle, which he's had out before. But if that thyme and that sage really come out, it'll be really good. So hopefully that does. And then we have a set of three here. This is the Palm Beach Gardens set. Set of three here. First up we have Velvet, Peony, and Jasmine. And this is really pretty. The really pretty floral design on that. And that lid is uh, the white lid that has that design on there. That's really pretty as well. Kind of a light pinkish wax for wicks. This reads... Peony Petals, Pink Jasmine, Blue Freesia, and Bergamot. Yeah, this is really nice floral. Mm, this one's so good. Really, really good. Uh, I mean, the, you definitely get the Peony and the Pink Jasmine. And the Blue Freesia, I think, is what's in here that's really nice. Oh, that's really, so good. So, so good. Bergamot. I mean, I get, it might be. I know Bergamot isn't a lot of clones, but it's also in perfumes as well, so... It's not like real perfumey or anything. Oh, it's really good though. I love this. Really nice. Next up, we have Wild Raspberry and Lemon Flower. And this has that design there on that. This reads Wild Raspberry, Lemon Flower, Strawberry Leaf, and Geranium. Yeah, this one's good. It's definitely get the geranium and then I get the raspberry. Slight bit of strawberry. Uh, and then lemon flower. Yeah, you can get like, it's like a floor with like a little bit of fruitiness in there. Yeah, that was nice. And then lastly in that collection, we have Honeysuckle Mimosa. And that's the packaging on that. And that was kind of a yellowish wax. And then this other one here was a light pink as well as the first one was. Honeysuckle Mimosa is Yellow Honeysuckle Golden Mimosa Neroli Honey Almond Blossom. So this one's, yeah, this one's um, florally, but uh, you really get the honeysuckle in there as well, but I, I do get that honey almond blossom. I get like a honey and almond blossom. Yeah, uh, Neroli, yeah, I get the Neroli in there. That's different. Hmm, that's good. So that's that set there, excited to try those out. And then lastly, we have the East Hampton Garden. East Hampton Garden set of three. First up is Blue Violet Azalea. And that's pretty packaging here as well. It's blue floral print here. Really pretty. And then that's got that same white lid. 
This one reads, Blue Violet, Mimosa Flower, Pink Grapefruit, and Apple Blossom. Oh, this one's so good. This one, I love this one. This one definitely, you get that, you get the Blue Violet and the Mimosa Flower, um, the Apple Blossom, but you get that Grapefruit as well in there. Mmm. Yeah, that's so good. The next step here we have Water Lily and Neroli. And it's got that packaging there. Put that lid. Blue wax. Uh, the other one here. I think these all, no. Both those have blue wax. This one has blue wax and so did the Blue Violet Azalea. The Water Lily and Neroli reads Water Lily, Neroli, Lotus Blossom, and Yuzu. Yeah, this one's a really good watery scent. Watery and florally fresh. Mm, a little relaxing and spa-like. That's really good. It's, this isn't too florally. It's a little more on like the fresh, like watery uh, spa. But there's just a little bit of floral in there. Oh, that's, that's really good. Excited to try that one. And then lastly, we have Apricot and Beach Sage. And this one has... It's green, designed on their green color, and it has the white lid, and this has green wax, light green, kind of a sage color. It reads, apricot nectar, beach sage, coconut, palm, and orange flower. Okay, this one's good too. Yeah, you get floral mixed with like a fruit. You get the apricot nectar, definitely. You get the orange flower, um, and definitely get the apricot nectar, beach sage. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fresh and watery, but florally too. Yeah, these are such good scents. These are really good scents. I love Harry's floral scents. They're so good, and he mixes them really well with all this watery notes and the floral notes, beachy notes, um, fruit notes, everything. They're so good. So yeah, that is it. I think, make sure, let me look over here, make sure I got everything. Yes, I got everything. So yeah, that is it for my homeworks haul. Thank you so much, homeworks, for sending these to me to preview with you. So like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'll either do reviews here on YouTube or on my Instagram channel and then also join the Facebook group. I'll put uh, links below for that as well as the some of the reviews I did on these as well down below. All right, so thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all in our next video. Bye.